Kennedy Kate. Today, guys, I am going to be giving you guys a little bit of an update on everything that's going on in our lives. Holy cow, do we have so much stuff to talk about. So, first things first, if you didn't know already, I am pregnant right now and I am 27 weeks. Do you want to see the baby bump? Baby bump is big and baby bumped. So fun. He is moving a ton. I just barely hit my third trimester, which is crazy to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, like there's only one left. It's just crazy. Anyway, I am like starting to prepare myself for birth classes and I'm looking at all of this like fun stuff for a registry and I'll do a video on that and you guys will definitely have to help me with that. I'm also looking at um, just like different birthing plans and just all of that jazz, which is just crazy. I just, it seems so far away, but now it's here. And so I am just, there's just lots going on. So not only do we have birth stuff and I'll talk more, a little more information about that in a bit, but we also have crazy medical school journey stuff going on, Chase and I do. If you guys don't know, I'm married to Chase and he is the best, he's my favorite husband of all time. And I've, okay, that was weird. I've only been married once, but he's amazing. Anyway, so Chase is applying to med school right now. We've gotten some really great news about med school stuff that I'm gonna talk to you guys about. Also, I'm gonna talk to you guys about moving because Chase and I and our sweet little baby are going to be moving very soon. And also our Kobe beer. Can you say hello? Come here. This is our Kobe beer. Can you say hi? Yes, he has an apple tag on him because I get scared he's gonna get lost. Anyway, he like he's my little buddy. Anyway, so let's tell you guys a little bit of updates with first baby, medical school, and then we'll talk about moving because all this stuff is happening within the next six months, which is insane. Okay, so let's talk about first baby stuff. So now that I just hit my third trimester, ah, I can't believe I, I just can't even say that. I've been feeling really good. Second trimester, I felt so much better. I felt like the beginning was a little rough. I still felt, I still felt a little bit sick, but um, after a while, like all the nausea went away. I had a little bit of heartburn, but I feel like it's super manageable, and I know kind of what what to eat, what not to eat now that gives me heartburn. I started feeling baby move a ton, and he is. Just a little wiggler, literally this morning, I woke up to him just like moving around, kicking in my belly. I think he had the hiccups. And I like almost got teary eyed because it just, I am just so, so grateful for this opportunity that I have to be um, pregnant. And it's just, I'm really, he's just a, already a big uh, miracle in our lives. So we're really, really excited for that. Again, he's moving a ton and um, what other things are going on. I haven't had like crazy cravings yet, kind of just like fall cravings to be honest. Like I'm all into the pumpkin bread, the cinnamon rolls. I'm obsessed with apple juice. I've kind of become a soda girl. I never really was a soda girl before, but I like sometimes want soda. I'm take, oh guys, speaking of soda, I have to take my glucose test in next week. And I'm like low-key really nervous about it. They gave me a drink that they said tastes kind of like orange Fanta, but without the carbonation. And it's like three times the sugar. So they said it's somewhat similar, but I'm gonna be taking my, gluto my glucose test. And for those of you who may not know what that is, basically I'm going to um, get tested for um, gestational diabetes. And I guess this happens often in pregnancy and I had no idea until I, until I was pregnant what that was or that was even a thing. So I'm taking that test next week and I'll video that. So cross my fingers that all of that goes really well. Other cravings that I've had, nothing really crazy. Just the usual kind of food. Food wise, we're doing good. Sleeping wise, it's gotten a little more rough. I feel like I definitely have to sleep with my pregnancy pillow. And I will admit, sometimes I wake up anxious because when you're pregnant, you're supposed to be sleeping on your left side. And sometimes I'll find myself waking up on my back or on my right side. And so I get anxious. I'm like, I gotta sleep on my right side or my left side. And if you guys have any tips for that, because my, my hips are starting to hurt just sleeping on this side the whole time. So if you, again, I have a sleeping pillow, which helps, but let me know if you guys have any tips for that because it's kind of uncomfy when you sleep. So that happens sometimes. Sometimes he'll even wake me up like this morning. He woke me up moving because he just was 
moving a ton so I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night just with him moving but I usually am okay to fall, like, fall back asleep pretty quickly I just gotta find a comfy position which is a little tricky but it's it's, it's nothing I can't I can't handle other little updates with baby I have a baby shower coming up soon I'm so excited for it and I'll show you guys all of that and we have the holidays coming up and there's just, it's crazy. He's just moving a ton. I've been able to still work out, which has been really nice. With workouts, I feel like I'm definitely a lot slower and I'm a lot more tired quickly, but like, I still feel like I can move my body and I'm still feeling really good. I am very interested because everyone keeps telling me like, oh, just you wait there. He's gonna start going up into your ribs and he's gonna start kicking and it's gonna start hurting. Like, not hurting like bad, but, He'll like kick me in the bladder and, or something like that and it's just gonna be very different, it's gonna be really strong. And so I'm interested in seeing how that's gonna go. I haven't really felt super uncomfortable yet, but it's been really such a fun little time. I'm so excited. I just can't believe I started my third trimester already. It's just insane to me. So that's basically the update with baby. Things are going really good. I have lots of fun things coming up and lots of fun videos that are gonna come up. So we're all excited for all that jazz. Med school stuff. Let's talk about med school stuff. So, Chase has been, he's already applied for med school. For those of you who don't know really a lot about med school stuff, he had to take a few different tests. He had to get all of his application all set up and ready. He sent it to um, a few different schools. Then we just basically, that was in the summer. And then we've been waiting just for interviews. When you get interviews, it's not like a for sure thing that you'll go get to go to that school. It's just getting that one step closer to kind of figuring out where you're gonna go. Cause obviously if they're interviewing you, they kind of want to get to know you better. And so Chase has already had three interviews, which I'm so proud of him for. So we have three interviews already and interviews can still go all the way till January. January, I know, it's crazy. And a lot of them have been on Zoom, which has been really nice so we don't have to travel a ton. All these interviews went really well and we feel really good about it and we're just really, really excited to figure out where we're going to go. And all the schools that he um, has been interviewed for, we are like really looking forward. Those are really cool places that we would love to visit. And so really it's been, it's gonna be crazy and um, such a great experience to kind of figure out where we're going. I'm just really excited for Chase and I'm really proud of him for all of the hard work that he has done and that he's still doing. And I'm just, um, we're just really looking forward to figuring out where we're going to go. And so we kind of learned a little bit more. So we found out that we had thought previously that we um, were going to find, we were gonna get a match date of what school we're gonna go to in March but that date has actually changed and now it's in February. And it's literally around the time that I am due with our baby. So kind of crazy because we're going to find out or we're gonna become parents, crazy. And then we're gonna find out where we're going to med school and then we find out where we're moving and it's just gonna be all in one shebang and it's gonna be crazy but fun and such a great adventure for us and our family. So in the, end, in the middle of February is when we're gonna find out where we're gonna go. Lots of big life changes in February. Just prepare yourself that I might be a little MIA for a second, but then I'll be back. Along with that, so in February, find out what med school we're going to, then we find out where we're moving. And so with that, we are gonna have to get pack up all of our stuff and move across the country to a location that is unknown right now we're not we know for sure that we're not going anywhere that we live right now so we're definitely gonna have to pack up all of our stuff and our baby and our puppy and go across the country which i'm very excited about but i'm also like oh my gosh i need to prepare myself uh in december chase and i have a fun thing uh we have some fun plans we are going to tour some different um schools that um chase has got an interviews for and ones that we're uh, hoping to go to. And we're going to look at those schools. We're gonna check out like maybe some different neighborhoods that maybe we'd want to live in that we feel like would be great options for us and our family that's gonna be start growing or that is gonna start growing. We're also gonna just check out to see if we can kind of see ourselves living there. It's just gonna be crazy. For those of you who may not know as well, you probably actually all don't know, but we only apply to schools in Texas, which 
it's kind of crazy, but Chase and I really, um, we prayed about it and that's what we felt like where we should go. And so all these places are in Texas. So we're just gonna be touring around Texas all of December. We were gonna try to do it later, but with baby, I won't be able to travel right starting January. So we'll just, around December, we're gonna be traveling a ton and then be able to see family and friends for Christmas. And then hopefully we're gonna find out where we move in February, but we'll kind of have a better understanding. The city that we got into because we already had visited it previously in December, if that makes sense. So basically we're going to just travel all over Texas, get a feel for all the different locations that we've applied to and kind of figure out, can we see ourselves living here? Which is just, guys, I'm gonna probably say this word a thousand times in this video, but I'm just, literally astounded of like how much stuff is going to be going on in these next six months then like i said once we find out where we're going in february we're leaving where i live right now in april and we're going to be moving to that location and hopefully finding a good living situation. I feel like that's also gonna be kind of crazy. Since we don't really know exactly where, we would love to get a house, but a lot of medical schools are in really big cities and it's just too hard or it would just wanna be financially, we wouldn't financially be able to do that. So we're kind of looking at houses, apartments, townhomes, kind of everything, just to kind of get a feel of what our options are. If you guys have any advice on kind of figuring out living situations and the best way to go about that, totally let us know. We're, we're kind of thinking about just talking to a bunch of people and just kind of getting a feel for the city and maybe having a real estate agent kind of help us look at apartments, townhomes, and houses, kind of whatever is available in those areas. I'm just literally so excited. It's crazy because I feel like we're kind of starting this whole new chapter of becoming parents. Chase becoming a med student. Just lots of crazy things are happening, but I feel like it's gonna be such a big blessing. So those are kind of basically the big updates that are going on and what is gonna happen in these next like six months. And I am so excited. Again, I, I am just super grateful for Sarah to become a mom and for Chase to be able to um, hopefully go to med school and have his dream career. And I'm just really grateful that all of these things are just happening all at the same time. There's big dreams and it's just gonna be such a fun, great time in our lives. New chapter and I'm really excited. And yeah, so that's kind of the update on what's going on with our whole life. Let me know if you guys have any advice or anything else and I love you all. And let me know if you have any other questions and I will give you more updates later on. And later on in this third trimester. All right guys, love you all, I'll see you later, bye-bye.